Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, July 20th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Keep in mind, we continue to see this overall downtrend remain intact. That downward sloping channel is still in play, and uh, at the moment, we had a very bullish session and are currently holding at the highs of that range. The previous session was a huge day. Pushed through the previous day's midpoint and really elongated the day's profile throughout the day, closing at the highs, closing just shy of the key range high. And today in overnight pr uh, price action and pre-market trading here, we've seen price trade off of that key range high, pulling back a bit. Now one thing to keep in mind here is after a high range day like this, uh, a high range directional day there tends to be a low range day that can follow in addition to that low range day you can tend to see a fade after trend day where price rejects the previous sessions high and rotates back toward the midpoint that's not always the case but that can be um, seen many times here you get a high range day like this it fades back this becomes almost an outside day here it happens this is a smaller range after that up day, smaller range after this up day. That's what can tend to happen. Here's a big day there, and then you see a fade all the way back to the midpoint. So again, uh, a failure to get back above the key range high or the previous session's high could open up a return back to yesterday's mid. That's 38.91, and that's just uh, on a short-term basis here today. Now keep in mind, this market here is uh, attempting to push higher off of the previous year's low. We haven't come back to test that level. After the balance, it's held on support. It's got this very clear range, very clear up, uh, upper trend line. If this thing can push through 4,000, though, it can start to open up a bit of strength here toward 4,200, and that'll be the highest levels we've seen in a while. I mean, that'll basically wipe out almost all of the, uh, the, the January losses there down to that pivot low, which would be pretty significant given uh, the year we've had. So again, while that could happen, the general trend structure here suggests another wave down to new lows. So shy of a breakout through 4K, looking for signs of rejection that could lead us back to these previous lows and perhaps lower within the downtrending channel. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. You'll notice the NQ right now holding at the highs of yesterday's rally, holding right at the key range high, narrow range day after high range day so far developing. Today's ADR is 37% of average. For the ES, it's at 51%. But again, remember, uh, looking for more of a fade back into the previous session's midpoint. Previous session's mid is right at the 12.109 level, so 12.100. Right now we're currently trading 12.257, so still 150 plus points here to that downside target if it were to continue to fade downward. Overall, uh, the key range high here is going to be important. We continue to see a downtrend intact here, uh, but again, this market showing a bit more strength over the last several days uh, and, and watching for signs of rejection. If we get a, a good song, strong rejection at these highs, uh, shy of a breakout back above 12.5, we could be looking at a return back toward 11.5 and perhaps a drop toward 10.5 down below. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Crude oil right now up, uh, or sorry, bounced here after the recent decline, but at, is at the upper edge of this downward sloping channel. And again, this is very reminiscent of any of these bounces here or this bounce here right uh, before we saw the primary trend move down within the channel. Uh, the difference here compared to these other times is these other times we were still looking for weakness downward toward the 95s, maybe as low as 93s, and it finally got all of those targets. Now it's bounced again. If it were to drop another leg, we have the 86s ahead and the fact that this thing gave up 106 back here suggests that we could be looking at a return all the way to the bottom of that market structure at 86 so this pullback here could be an opportunity to sell 
we're currently sitting right at weekly VWAP, right at uh, yearly VWAP, and for the most part, kind of pulling back toward the previous session's midpoint here as this thing kind of chops around. Again, uh, if there's a failure to hold yesterday's midpoint, that could open up quite a bit of selling pressure. The, pre the next day here could look uh, to go continue this downtrend to the downside, and we could be looking at new lows up ahead. So again, watching to see how it plays out up here. 100 been the key pivot to continue to watch. We take a look here at Bitcoin. Bitcoin has seen quite a bit of strength over the last five to six days. Uh, this bounce has been pretty uh, pretty meaty here. 5,000 points about uh, thereabouts, 18 to 23s, approaching 24K. It got to 23,965, so very close. Uh, a big time push above previous highs. Still below the previous month's midpoint and still trending downward. But this is not a bad move so far. Not a bad move at all. We could be looking at uh, quite a bit more upside if the next pullback is defended. So if we have a short-term pullback here and you get a higher low and start to push higher, we may continue toward 28 and trade in this middle portion of the range. Uh, again, we haven't seen many rallies really take hold. We have seen some modest moves within range, but we haven't seen uh, a recovery of market structure. And this way right now, this would be very significant to break through like as it did yesterday and then continue through uh, to this next highest market structure. Because again, since the end of March here, we basically only have one or a couple of small up days before this thing is getting crushed. This is back-to-back -back weeks here of very strong up moves from a short-term perspective. So things are beginning to change a bit from that perspective. So again, when you look at this, it's not bad right now. It's on its way higher. It's gotten that push through uh, the upper resistance and through that narrow LVN. And now we have this LVN channel here to work with right now. So we could be looking at a little bit more strength here. Uh, but again, th this zone right here, 22, is going to continue to be the level. Can it stay above 22K? All right, lastly, looking at ETH futures here, up 2.4%. This thing has uh, rallied back to 1,600, so it's at 1,601 right now from the 1,000 level. Again, that's a plus 60% rally right there, a huge move in a very short amount of time. This one also breaking back above prior highs. On a futures basis, this is back above the previous year's low. The futures did not have a full low last year, or a full trading year, so the low is not as low as what we see in the cash. Uh, but again, just to recover these levels, just to recover 1,300 of that significant CLVN and push through it so well, again, suggest that the next higher low could be good for a short-term recovery back towards 1,700. So, I mean, this is looking really solid right now. Uh, a very blunt uh, reversal on these lows here. Not a sharp reversal, but instead kind of a, a very clear blunt reversal here. Three-point reversal and a strong recovery so far. So perhaps this could be the early beginnings of what could be a recovery attempt here. Uh, so the next higher low is going to tell us a lot. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.